Hello everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my very first predictions video. I wanted to kind of do this at the beginning of the year this year, because I'm going to see if I, one, read all these books in 2020, that's the goal, um, and two, if my predictions were correct. Um, so this is my five star predictions video and it was actually a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be to prepare for this because I was staring at my bookshelves for about 10 minutes just kind of going through the books and a lot of them struck me as I was like well I think I'm going to enjoy this but I don't think it's going to be a five star which is wild and it made me think about <laughs> kind of like why do we buy books that we don't think we're going to give five stars, you know? Um, but then I then I kind of thought to myself, I'm like, well, I don't go in to my book buying thinking, oh, this is going to be a five star read, I have to buy it. I go in thinking, this is interesting to me, and that's why I'm going to buy it. So it's it was weird. It was a weird moment in my book shelves, you know? Um, I'm also in a new location today because uh, there's not enough room, or uh, not enough room, <laughs> because there is not enough light in my library right now, which is weird because it's like 2.30 maybe in the afternoon, um, and there's enough light up here, evidently. This is my piano room, my music room, as you can tell by the guitar behind me, but um, I actually kind of like this setup, so... Maybe we shall see if it makes a return. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there, there wasn't enough light in my library for me to film, and it was too gray of a light coming through the window, so we're just gonna have to deal with this new setup. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm gonna start with this very first one, simply because it is a sequel to a bunch of books that I have previously given five stars, and so that's the main reason why I'm going to give it five stars, or I'm going to predict that it's going to be a five star read, simply because the other three books that I've read by this author I had given five stars to. Uh, but this is the third book in the Queens of Renthia series by Sarah Breth Durst. This one is Queen of Sorrow. The Queen of Sorrow. I know you can't really tell because the light is a lot, but if it focuses on that instead, The Queen of Sorrow by Sarah Breth Durst. Um, I'm very excited about this. This is the third and last in the trilogy, um, and the previous two I have absolutely adored, so I'm really hoping that this does. Um, this trilogy is based in a land where this kingdom is run by queens, um, because they live in a world where there's also different kinds of spirits. Um, there are wood spirits, air spirits water spirits, fire spirits, earth spirits, and ice spirits. Um, and these spirits in their natural, um, in their natural instincts is to kill every human they see. Um, and so to control that and to be able to live and flourish in a kingdom, they have to have a queen who controls all of them. So that's basically what it is. And it's about a, a girl named Delena in the first one and her journey. Um, and in this one we have um, Naylin and Delena. Naylin is a, a lady that we're introduced to in the second book, but yeah, I'm really excited about this. The next book that I think is going to be five stars, simply because I have seen only good things about it, and it just seems like it is going to be a masterpiece, and that is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. This is, from what I recall, is a Russian fantasy, so it's like deep set in the deep winter, and then there's this girl named Vasya, I believe, Vas Vasilia, and her siblings, um, Vasya, Vasya, that's her name. There's just like, I know Vasya learns magic at some point, I think? I'm not sure, I don't know much about it, but I just know that it's going to be a masterpiece. So that is why I am predicting that is going to be a five star read. I first heard about this book and really only on Regan's channel, a uh, Peru's project. She adores this trilogy. I think it's a trilogy. But this story of this Bear and the Nightingale 
which just starts off, but I really can't talk today. Wow. <laughs> uh, but so this one for sure, I think is going to be five stars. It just has a fee. I have a feeling about this one and I'm really excited to get to it. It is part of my January TBR. So we shall find out soon. The next book is one that I have seen around on booktube and bookstagram and book twitter um especially because the second one came out i believe late last year um but there's only good things coming out of this book and i've heard that it is so deeply um raw and just dark and i've heard so many different authors just gush about these book this book specifically so that is why I'm predicting it has five stars, because I know that books that will hit me emotionally and they're just like deep and more real books will get those five stars. Um, and that is The Poppy War by R.F. Kwong. This is... I really know nothing about it. I go into these books not knowing a lot. I know it is a fantasy book that is highly centered around war. I do believe... It's about Rin, who goes to a military school, I do believe. Um, I've also heard that it is like a villain origin story. I'm not sure if that's real, but I love that idea. <laughs> um, but yes, this seems like it's gonna just hit me hard when I read it, and it's gonna be thick and dense and just really well written. I've heard only good things, again, so that is influencing my decision why this one, I think, is gonna be five stars. Now, the next one... <laughs> is I'm predicting that it's going to be five stars. One, because I love this author's world building a lot. And two, because it is so big that if it's not five stars, I'm going to be really disappointed in giving it that amount of time. And that is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. Now, again, I've only heard good things about this series, The Stormlight Archives, and again, from Reagan from Peru's Project, um, loves these books, so I am putting really high stock on these. Um, I did read a little bit of it, I think up to page 132 at one point, but then I put it down because I was just reading so many other things. Uh, but this year I'm determined to get through this one, um, and hopefully it'll be five stars, because I am expecting a lot from this. I've heard only, as I've said, amazing things, and it is just deep and huge and this world is incredible so we'll find out <laughs> this next one is by a beloved author on booktube and bookstagram i have only previously read three of her books um the dark shade of magic and her two middle grades but i'm predicting that vicious is going to be a five star read for me i just adore the concept for this book. It is basically two kids um, have so much potential or whatever and then they come out of jail 10 years later and they're basically villains, I think. I'm not sure, but I just love what V.E. Schwab does with her characters and what like type of stuff she explores. So I'm really intrigued to get to this one finally. Um, but I also really like the idea that she's studying humanity in this too. I'm not sure, but I think it's going to be fabulous. And again, it's one thing that I've heard only good stuff about. I've literally never heard a negative review about Vicious, so we shall see. <laughs> now, sticking with the, I guess most of these, not mm, all of these, are pretty hyped on um, booktube and the book internet sphere. Uh, but we're just going to continue on with that train, because this next one, I think, I'm, I'm a little iffy giving it a prediction of five stars, but I know we hit that if I'm in the right mood for this book, and if I am just ready to devour this kind of world, this like 1920s New York with the creepiness and all of that, I think that The Diviners by Liva Bray will be a five star read. Again, I'm influencing my decision a lot from what other people on the internet have said about this because I've literally never heard a negative review. Um, most recently, I believe I heard Zoe from 
read by Zoe talk about this because she read it with her dad in the fall and her dad really liked it. Um, I don't know. And I've only heard good things about it, again. Uh, but yes, I'm hoping this is a five star because again, most of these books are quite chunky and I always get a little bit disappointed if the bigger books that I go into aren't amazing like a four star or a five star or somewhere in between because if I'm give, going into this given this amount like a good chunk of my time I don't want it to be a three star you know I want it to be something I really enjoy but again if I get into it and I just don't like it I'll just put it down because this this is the year where I'm going to start also DNFing books even though I did do that last year but like actually marking them as DNFs because I just don't want to get into them or I'm just not interested or they're just not good. <laughs> um, but yes, this one I really hope I love. <laughs> right, so this next one I have extremely high hopes for simply because it was Books and Lala's favorite book of 2019 and just the idea of it, it seems so up my alley. And this author um, has written books that people just adore. Um, her other series, I believe it's called the Wayward Children series, I'm just not completely interested in. I've heard too many bad things about it to really get into it, but this one, Middle Game, is <laughs> just, as I said, Books and Lala's favorite book of 2019. I have to give it five stars in my predictions because it just seems like it's gonna be so good and so different from what I've read. Um, and it is basically, we have Roger and Dodger and they aren't exactly human, though they don't realize it. They aren't exactly gods either. Not entirely, not yet. That's all I wanna know going into this. I just, I am so excited about this one and I have such high hopes and I really hope they don't crush me into the soil and I hope I'm not disappointed by this one but also look up I just love this cover it just is fascinating anyways but yeah this super high hopes I mean I guess this entire video is just about me having high hopes for books because I'm giving them all five star predictions I can't even talk today I'm tired <laughs> and it's just a lot but anyways um, this last book again took the internet by storm when it came out even before it came out people were clamoring for arcs because she hadn't released a book since her previous one that is highly highly loved um, but that is the starless sea by Erin Morgenstern I am expecting to completely fall in love with this book I'm expecting this to be on one of my on my favorite books of 2020 if not of all time list um, which is why I'm slightly terrified to go into it because I don't want it to be disappointed <laughs> um, so this is about a boy a boy a guy we're gonna say a guy I don't know if he's a boy or like a man you know um, someone named Zachary Ezra Rollins is searching for his door, but he does not know it. He follows the silent siren song and explicable certainty that he's meant for another place. When he discovers a mysterious book in the stacks of his campus library, he begins to read and is entranced by tales of lovelorn prisoners, lost cities, and nameless acolytes. Suddenly, a turn of the page brings Zachary to a story from his own childhood, impossibly written in this book that is older than he is. A bee, a key, and a sword emblazoned on the book lead Zachary to two people who will change the course of his life. Mirabelle and, I lost it, Dorian. Um, I don't know. I don't know about this. It seems like it's going to be whimsical and full of just magic but not in like a fantasy way. It seems like it's just kind of going to touch the fantasy realm gently and like leak it in to the real world a little bit. Um, there's a word for that. Magical realism. It's gonna be, I think it's just, I don't know if magical realism is a good word to describe this one, but it feels like it's going to be just so gorgeous and so 
beautiful, really, um, that I'm hoping it crushes my soul too, just a little. Because I always want a book to get crush me just a little bit. Because if it does, that's when you know it's a good book. So that's all the books that I have from my shelves that are five star predictions. Um, let me know down below if you have any that you are hoping to get to in 2020 that you've predicted are going to be five star reads for you. Um, if you have any that you've predicted that you're just gonna absolutely adore and that you're scared of, kind of like the Starless Sea for me, um, or like the Way of Kings because it's just so junky. But um, let's make 2020 the year of tackling the books we're a little bit afraid of um, and the ones that we think we are going to adore. And let's also make 2020 the year that if we don't love a book, we put it down. We don't have to read books we don't like just to get that Goodreads number up, you know? We want, I want this year, even though I've set my goal to be 100 books on Goodreads, um, I only did that because last year I got, I read over 100 books and I was like, let's see if I can do it two years in a row. Uh, but even then, I want to make sure that the books that I'm reading are ones that I actually enjoy. Um, but yeah, anyways, I've been talking for a fair amount of time, so feel free to subscribe down below and hit that little bell icon if you like, and if you're feeling like it, like this video, it really helps me out, and uh, I'll catch you in another video soon. Stay kind and keep on reading.